Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mike here, and um, another day, another dollar, right? Got to get some stuff listed, get some stuff shipped, which I'll show you guys as usual what I'm shipping out. Um, you know, uh, just been keeping busy, guys, you know, just trying to stay focused and, um, you know, just uh, just doing my thing. You know, you guys heard about my Amazon fiasco, and um, it's currently being dealt with at this this at this moment in time, and um, we'll see the uh, results of that. I'll also sort of show you the whole progress of my, of what what's happened with that. Um, some people say I made it up. Some people say that I put the mold there. It's crazy. You know, um, people on the internet are definitely, um, there's the 99% of you that are out there are great people. There's 1% that are really out there sick, thinking that I would actually plant that and try to do that to create a check on YouTube. Sickening. Absolutely sickening. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's all be productive today. Let's all go out there and, and make it happen, hustle, and I'm going to take you with me. All right, we sold some chings. Get it? We sold some chings, sold some things. <laughs> Here's a couple things I sold on Amazon. First one here, you'll go outside in a little bit, Bear Dog. Um, Shakespeare in Love DVD. This one sold for $5 shipped. And hey, I just showed you guys this recently, the, the magazines. Here's a, a Playboy magazine. And this one we sold for $7.78 on Amazon. So $19.97. Who is, are they buying it because it's got Claudia Schaefer? Or does it get because it's got the Donald? Which one is it? Schaefer or the Donald? <laughs> okay, we've got some Etsy here. First item is a 1995 Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl t-shirt. Size extra large. Sold this for $12 shipped. Going to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh PA. Pittsburgh PA. Uh, another one here is a Screen Stars. Uh, thoroughbred music, Florida concert or not concert shirt, uh, just a kind of a uh, an old rock store, an old music store in Florida, and um, sold this for twenty four dollars. Cool story. This a lady messaged me and she's like, uh, I had it for I think thirty eight. She goes, Would you take it any lower price on it? And I said, Sure. What you know? What are you thinking? She came back. She's like, How about twenty four bucks? I said, yeah, that's great. She goes, oh, my God, thank you so much. I used to shop there back in the day, blah, 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 blah. They had this whole story to it, so I was really happy that's going to somebody that actually went to the actual store. So that's pretty darn cool. So, yep, going to package this up. Garage sale, I see. Going to see if there's one available for me to find some profits. All right, got a couple licks. And um, it's already noon here. I wasn't even planning to go hitting the garage sales today. So um, I'll show you guys some of these licks in a little bit. Well, it just dawned on me that I forgot to package up some eBay. <laughs> it happens, right? Uh, all right, so let's go to the uh, first one here on eBay. A Harley Davidson, man's extra large, uh, just a short sleeve like Hawaiian motorcycle geometric shirt. Sold this for $16.60 on sale. And here we have this. I just, this sold within 24 hours. So Ralph Lauren Polo Golf, just the solid white, then the red, uh, blue, then like a navy, kind of like a USA looking type of shirt, Polo Golf shirt, and this one for $15 right off the bat. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you guys for today. We'll move on to something else. All right, so let's show you guys here. This is the, a record player I picked up. And uh, everything I'm going to show you, I paid $11 total for. So not a bad little, uh, I, I think there's some good pickups here. We'll see what happens, like everything else, right? Uh, Gemini XL100, kind of a recent record player. A lot of people use it for the, the, the scratch and uh, you know DJs use it. Um, let's say we got a record that came with it, Bloodstone. Um, but yeah, this this fully works as far as I can tell so far. I got to do a little further testing, but just I just fired it up and it looks like it's doing pretty well. I don't know, 50, 60 bucks on this type of uh, record player here. It's got some. It needs to be cleaned. Um, but yeah, I mean. You know, look out for record players. There are some good ones out there that bring some serious money. Obviously, this is a newer one here that, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty kind of common, really. But, all right, let me show you guys what I found next. All right, the next uh, item I got is these Bose 101s. Um, any, Bose, big name out there. Uh, they don't bring super money, this particular uh, style, but they're, they're nice. They're good speakers, indoor and outdoor. Very rugged, and um, they sound amazing. So, uh you know, I got all this there. I asked, you know, I saw the record player, and I said, hey, do you happen to have any records? Oh, some guy just came here a couple hours earlier. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And I had to ask the dreaded question. I'm like, um, what kind of records were they? And she goes, jazz. I'm like, oh, gosh. So somebody picked up a heck of a deal today, like five or 600 records at this place 
for pennies on the dollar and probably got some excellent jazz. So these are the bigger, the bulkier items that I picked up. Um, and I'm going to show you just some of the, some mumbo jumbo here in a second. This Sony uh, remote is sitting there, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's let's roll with that. Remotes do very good on eBay and Amazon, believe it or not. Uh, picked this one up. Ba la 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 bomba. Ba la 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 la. Um, been on a Blue Diamond Phillips kick lately. You know, good old Standing Me or Broken Bear, whatever they call them in that uh, that show. Uh, what the heck's that show that's on Netflix? I don't know. Maybe one of you guys know it. It's that cowboy western Wyoming show. There are sheriffs. I don't know. For some reason, I've been on a Lou Diamond uh, Phillips kick. And uh, so I'm going to sp spin this. There's no money resale value in that. But I haven't seen it in years, so we'll check it out. Uh, some of these are hit and miss. I mean, some of these are penny CDs. Some of these, I don't know. But I figure, you know, I always need some stuff to listen to. Sorry if you can hear that guy. But he's like a half a mile away. He keeps revving his engine. Don't know what he's doing. But Lee Armstrong... Um, the toy is B.I.G. Love it when they call me Big Pop Ba. Uh, we got Eminem here. Uh, another Eminem curtain call. Rise of the Planet of the Apes Blu-ray. And this was a Linkin Park. I think it's a double CD. Okay, hey, maybe I remember this hat, the old MCOJ, uh, when I used to do the Morning Cup of Joe videos, this was one of my hats I wore, just saw it sitting in the corner, I'm like, hey, this looks comfy, so I decided to throw it on, um, hey, I wanted to talk to you guys briefly here, because I just got a comment um, from one of you guys on YouTube, he's got a question here that I really wanted to answer and kind of focus on, you know, he says he loves selling concert t-shirts, he's tried Etsy and continues to list there, hoping that he can get some sort of sales there, but it, he hasn't even gotten one single sale on Etsy. And, um, yeah, I mean, guys, I hear this a lot, you know, where people are like, man, I tried Etsy, I tried. And here, I mean, when I first started Etsy, guys, I mean, you started with, like, zero followers, right? And um, it's like eBay, you know? You, you got to kind of keep listing items, right? And you got to kind of find little niches in there, right? Maybe it's concert T-shirts. I know concert T-shirts sell because I sell them. But... You just gotta keep listing and keep believing in Etsy, and it'll pu it'll turn off for you. I I'm, trust me, okay? You have to keep putting effort into it. Now, if you're making all your money on eBay and Amazon, you know, spend a little bit of time, break up time chunks, you know, and and throw some stuff on Etsy, and but be consistent, you know. Try to get stuff listed, you know, every week, you know, and and keep building that because people will start to start following you and they'll start looking at items and favoring your items. Uh, another thing to do, honestly, is. Now, you got to be really careful because a lot of people fail at this when it comes to social media with their items, okay? I get friends all the time that mess with me on Facebook, okay? And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I know this guy. They've commented on my videos or they've, they've met, you know, said something to me on Resource Roundtable. And I'll friend request them back and accept their friendship. Well, what I end up realizing is that all they're doing is they're just promoting their eBay store. And they don't even realize, like, it's not viral. It just, it, they're just promoting it to, like, their friends, right? So if all their friends are resellers and they're wondering why social media never works, that's why, you know? I mean, so typically I'll just be like, hey, you know, I kind of ignore it and just whatever it is. But you got to look at it like this, okay? For example, Instagram. If you take Instagram, like with, with niches, like especially concert t-shirts or you get into the, the, if you're finding really good vintage clothing, like modern clothing, like I'm talking like vintage Tommy Hilfiger, champion jerseys, snapback hats. There's a massive following for that, right? And you can easily jump in the game with Instagram as long as you're consistent. You got to engage, right? It's, it's like here on YouTube. If I was just, hey guys, uh, way well, guys, I sold some stuff on eBay, you know, eBay's slow, guys. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to see that, okay? So you got to, you got to, flavor it up right that means get creative you know maybe you have your your photographs that you're taking inside of your house with your mannequin they look all nice and great get creative say okay you know what i got some gems here that i think people majority of people like go outside with them okay take some crazy pictures of your shoes right or your shirt right put it in a field of grass put it in a hanger up against a brick wall do something so it stands out okay and then basically tell your followers Right here, this is where, this is where you go to shop. I mean, you can put it right, you know, in the your, your main description of your your, your Instagram thing. But what's going to end up happening is people are going to say, "Dude, how much? How much, bro? Hey, man, you know, you're asking thirty five. Would you take twenty? 
build that up, right? I think Etsy, honestly, is... It's not like eBay where you can just start throwing hundreds of thousands of different random things out there and you're going to have great success with it. And like a true business person would do, you run it like a business, right? You, you, you have goals set in mind. You, you have forecasts. Hey, I'm going to try Etsy for the next year. And my, my goal is, let's say it's your, your goal is $100, okay? Keep listing. So let's say two weeks go by, you got your 100 bucks. Jump your goal up now. Let's, do, let's try to go for 500 Let's go for 1000 right? And the next thing you know, you're, you're moving forward. You're, you know, you're creating growth for your company. And you're, you know, you're making some good financial decisions, but you're sticking with it. That's the big point. So, again, hopefully that answers your question, Michael Stone. And a lot of you guys that ask about Etsy, um, just don't give up on it. Just keep pushing forward, guys. There's, there's success over there. There's definitely success over there. You just have to play the game. Vlog over.